hey there thank you for stopping by today in this video i'm going to share this perfectly brine and roasted fish with spinach sauce recipe with you and i hope you stay tuned to the end to see how i make it these are the ingredients that i'm using i will leave everything down below in the description box in my bowl i'm just adding one cup of warm water and to that i'm going to add two tablespoons of salt and i'm going to mix well to dissolve then i'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of sugar to that i am using brown sugar you can use the white one the brine will enhance flavor and texture as well as retain moisture in the fish and I will also be spicing this fish before I roast it. Brine is basically a salty water and to that you can add any seasoning of your choice. Once this is done and mixed well, I'm going to add another cup of water. I use one warm water and I am now adding one cup of cold water. and the basic ratio of salt to water is normally four tablespoons of salt to four cups of water but i believe that you can adjust that according to how you want it to be if you don't want it to be too salty then reduce the salt so that is what i have done i don't have a lot of fish in here so i have added two tablespoons of salt and two tablespoons of sugar to two cups of water and as you can see the water is enough to cover my fish and i'm just adding all the other seasonings that i prefer to add into this i'm listing everything down below in the description box once this is done i'm just going to cover with a click film and i am now going to place in the fridge for the fish to absorb these amazing seasonings before i go in and roast it so because i'm going to be spicing this hence why i am not keeping it for too long but you can keep it between two to six hours or overnight so that is gone into the fridge i am now moving on to the rest of my preparation these are what i'm going to use to marinate my fish so i'm just going to blend all this together and to that i'm going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder and cumin powder and i'm going to mix well together and once my fish is out of the fridge i'm going to rinse in cold water and pat dry or you can leave it to air dry in the fridge so i am now going to rub this marinade on the fish and make sure it's well covered before i bake it once that is done i'm going to place it on my rack and then start baking it i'm not going to leave it any longer to marinate and trust me if you haven't brined your fish yet i think you should it takes the whole flavor and fish to a different level and plus it makes it moist and the texture is just so different so you should definitely give a try as you can see i use exact same seasonings that i use for the brining i have now preheated my oven and i'm now going to place this on the rack to start baking And I'm doing this or I am baking on 200 degrees for 40 minutes until it's flaky and white and beautiful and juicy this is the end result of my fish you can use any fish at all as you can see in this video I used heck fish I love heck fish when it's fried but I even love this back version and moving to the sauce, I'm just defrosting my spinach on a low heat and then I'll preheat my pan and add some red oil to it. So you must be asking, I saw the end result of this dish. Why is she using the frozen spinach? Well, I am using the frozen spinach because 
I did not have any fresh ones and I fancied our traditional abome spinach. And here's the spinach completely defrosted and I'm just going to blend mine to into two. And in my pot here, I've heated my oil, added onions and fine. And to this, I'm going to add some dry herring and fry to extract some flavors. I'm not going to use all this oil for the dish. I am going to use some for my beans on the side. And as my Ghanaian friends know, the traditional abum is made in the sanka. And since I cannot achieve that, I am going down this route. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of the blended mixture for the marinade. And I've also blended my tomato and I'm going to add that to the oil as well. And I'm adding some curry powder. So I'm mixing that together to make sure it's well incorporated. And I'm going to cover and lower the heat then let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Now I'm adding one small Maggi cube to it. I'm going to stir that together. Then once that is done, I'm going to cover again to simmer for about a few more minutes. And I also added some dawa dawa to this instead of fermented fish. So it's up to you. You can use the fermented fish or dawa dawa. Dawa dawa is also known as locust beans. Um, yeah, so you can use either. And now I'm just scooping out some of the sauce. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the spinach to the pan. And I'm going to mix well together until it is very, very, very well combined. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some slices of onions to this. So I'm now going to add the onions and then I'm going to cover to steamer for a few minutes, like at least 5 minutes. I don't want the onions to be too soft, I still want to bite into them while eating it. So, so the sauce is now ready and yeah. I've made this like the simplest way ever. I'm now going to serve with some cocoa yam and plantain and also um, there is fair amount of oil but not too much uh, and I like the way it came out not too 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 much of oil um, I mean even if you make it green it's still going to be delicious and this is how it is looking and you can have this sauce and the fish with varieties of things like yam, cocoa yam, um, cassava, boiled one and potatoes you know you have so many choices to choose from and i hope you liked it and please give me a thumbs up and comment and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell so when uploading a video you'll be the first to be notified bye bye for now